Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is the first tutorial in AutoCAD Auto Lisp. AutoCAD Auto Lisp. Auto Lisp is derived by Auto from AutoCAD and Lisp is a programming language. Full form is List Processing. When both are combined, it becomes Auto Lisp. In this tutorial, we will see how to automate drawings in AutoCAD. Like we want to suppose draw footing section then we don't need to draw all of them once we program it we can use it only by inputting the required dimensions we will see how we will see for footing section wall section laying out column in grid and in x direction and y direction this is the column in grid and this is the column layout in x direction and this is the column layout in y direction so first you need to download the file from the link link will also be available in the description copy this and paste it here you will see here green button click it download zip file Once you download the file, you can open it and extract it. I have already extracted it. Then you will see this file. The name of these files are the command to be used in AutoCAD. But before that, you will have to upload this file in AutoCAD. We will see how to do that. You have to use command app yellow area. It means application load. So go to AutoCAD and type app yellow area. Navigate to the folder where you have just extracted all those files I have extracted here now you need to select all of them Then press load you will see here successfully loaded seven files now if you do only this much then you will have to load this file every time you launch autocad but once you have loaded in the startup suite then you don't need to load every time you load the autocad unless you make any changes to these files even though you make any changes to this file autocad will ask at the beginning do you want to load and you will have to select yes always and then it will never ask again let's upload this in startup suit i have already done that but let's see how to do it when you will open a startup suit your shoe will be empty so click this add button select all of them navigate to the folder where you have up extracted the files then click open close seven files added to startup suit now close it now your files are available to be used in autocad now simply you need to do is type command the general command like you do in AutoCAD suppose you want to draw a rectangular then you type RECT in the same way you have to lay footing then you type lay footing and let's see what are the elements or the data to be input to make a footing section it is a trapezoidal footing section You need soling, PCC, rectangular portion of the footing, trapezoidal portion, then column below the tie level and column above the tie beam, then ground level depth of excavation. You can use this data or as per your requirement. Let's see how to do it in CAD.
now you are asked to enter the width of footing in mm millimeter so we have given data width of footing let us suppose 900 then thickness of soling suppose it is 150 thickness of pcc 100 and now you have to choose origin you can choose anywhere now enter the thickness of rectangular portion of footing suppose it's 200 and trapezoidal is 250 thickness then enter the height of column below tie level suppose it's it's 70 above tie level it's 1000 now the depth of excavation 900 Now, after you have input all this file, your section will be drawn on AutoCAD along with the dimensions. So, this is our section of footing. Above the tie beam, it's 1000. Below tie beam, it's 870. Now, rectangular portion, this rectangular portion is 200 and trapezoidal vertically is 250 soling 150 pcc 100 hatching will also be done automatically dimensioning will also be done and the leveling will also be done automatically column width i did not enter column width 230 but if you need this value to be variable then you can make it user input we will see how to edit this code or write code in AutoCAD in the upcoming videos so that you can modify this code or write your own code as per your need. Now let's see how to draw wall. Again, you are asked to enter the width of footing. Suppose it's 530 mm. Then thickness of soling, it's 150. PCC, 100. Now choose origin. Now enter the height of wall below tie beam. Suppose it's 500. And above is 1000. Then depth of excavation is let it be 700. Now here also you will get dimensioning, level, hatching. Now we can draw layout column in x direction. Just like in the figure above. Here you have to input interior columns interior columns means see in this figure interior column means this is exterior column this is exterior column these two are interior columns so when you are asked to enter interior columns you have to enter two choose origin now enter the center to center distance you have to enter center to center distance from end to end now if you want to go in positive x direction you have to enter positive value if you have to go in negative x direction enter negative value suppose i need to go in positive x direction then i will enter positive value 20 and these data are in meter enter the number of interior columns suppose it's 5 now you are asked to lay the dimensions above the grid or below the grid 
here 1 and minus 1 means if you press 1 then the dimensioning will be above this grid here and if you press minus 1 then dimensioning will be below the grid now I want this to be above the grid so I will press 1 and enter so here you got your column we entered 5 interior columns 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 2 are the exterior one you can do this same process for y axis as well here y axis let's see choose origin suppose i want the column to be drawn from here and i want the column grid to go down so it is negative then i will enter minus 40 in the downward direction and 10 column interior columns minus 1 for the left side and plus 1 for the right i want minus 1 to be drawn in the left side so this is our column drawn in the y direction now we will see in the next video how we can draw in the irregular interval in x and y direction as well as layout the column in grid as on a r then we will see how to modify this code, how to write your own code and so on. Thank you for watching.